Good evening. First tonight, a former chief constable of West Yorkshire Police has been accused of asking staff to pick up his wife from the airport, throwing items at colleagues and making sexual comments towards female colleagues. The accusations against Mark Gilmar are made by the current police and crime commissioner of West Yorkshire, Mark Burns-Williamson. In court, documents obtained by Luke North, Mr Gilmour strenuously denies the allegations. David Rose has this exclusive report. In, particular in, the community in April 2013, Mark Gilmore was the fresh face appointed to give Yorkshire's biggest police force a new start. I feel hugely privileged to have been appointed by the Police and Crime Commissioner to lead a force with the reputation of West Yorkshire. It's a huge metropolitan force, it's a very, very capable force and it's a force that cares about the community it serves. In papers submitted to the High Court, the man who appointed Mark Gilmore as Police Chief, Police and Crime Commissioner Mark Burns-Williamson, says that within a year of Mr Gilmore's appointment, at least one whistleblower raised complaints about his conduct. It's alleged the former Chief Constable... ..swore and threw items at staff whilst in a rage. ..made comments of a sexual nature towards female colleagues, asked staff to pick up his wife from the airport... ..and that he bypassed official channels to employ a friend into a senior management role. Mr Gilmore's lawyer told Lucknow that his client strenuously denied the allegations, stating that rumour, innuendo and anonymous unsubstantiated allegations that have never been tested nor put to my client will not deter him from seeking accountability through due legal process. It is worth noting that these anonymous allegations were not investigated, which meant that my client was denied the opportunity of offering strong rebuttal testimony in respect of each allegation through proper due process. These allegations came to light after Mark Gilmore applied to the High Court for a judicial review. He claims that the Police and Crime Commissioner of West Yorkshire acted unlawfully by not completing an internal disciplinary procedure against him, which relates to an allegation of corruption. The Chief Constable of West Yorkshire Police has been suspended. Mark Gilmore is being investigated over allegations relating to his time as an officer in Northern Ireland. The suspension in June 2014 came after it was alleged Mr Gilmore benefited personally from a deal to award police vehicle contracts. A lengthy criminal investigation found, though, that he had no case to answer, and the former Chief Constable says he's been wrongly accused of any misconduct allegations. Well, David joins us now. What, David, are the wider implications of this? Well, the mainly financial failed because the suspension that I was referring to in that report and the subsequent period that um, Mr Gilmore spent away from West Yorkshire Police, it totaled two years. And over that period, his wages were still being paid by taxpayers here in West Yorkshire, and those wages came to a total of £400,000. Now, there is a judicial review to come later this year. The public purse, again, will be called into action because Mr Mark Burns-Williams, will have his legal costs paid by taxpayers and when you go to a judicial review legal costs can start at around hundred thousand pounds and all of this comes at a time when West Yorkshire police's budget is under real pressure they've lost a thousand police officers over the past seven years and more and more pressure is being put on that budget and these legal costs are only going to add to those pressures so what can we expect to happen next then, David? So as I referred to a moment ago, this judicial review will take place. The two men will make their cases before the High Court. That will be done by their two QCs. Mr Gilmore will be saying, look, it was Mark Burns Williamson's responsibility to carry out all of his legal responsibilities in order to suspend Mr Gilmore. Mr Gilmore says Mark Burns Williamson didn't do that. He was negligent in that respect. Mr Burns Williamson will say to the High Court, look, as the Police and Crime Commissioner of West Yorkshire, I did everything that I was required to do and that judicial review will be heard in November this year. David, thank you.